This just in, Republican President Hoover has signed off on the Reconstruction Finance Corporation. He first had to gain the support of the Democratic House and retain the support of the Republican Senate. Due to the rising fear of banks collapsing, many people were trying to withdraw their money from the banks. These banks did not have enough money on hand to repay all these people. The banks all across the nation asked for the help of our government, and this is how Hoover decided to respond. The Reconstruction Finance Corporation's purpose was to f facilitate economic activity by lending money in use in the Depression. Does it work? Mm -hmm. okay. At first, it lent money, money only to financial, industrial, and agricultural institutions. But the scope of its operations was greatly widened by the New Deal administration of Franklin Roosevelt. The effectiveness of RFC lending to March 1933 was limited in several respects. The RFC required banks to pledge assets as collateral for RFC loans. A criticism of the RFC was that it often took a bank's best loans assets as collateral. Thus, the liquidity provided came at a steep price to banks. Also, the publicity of new loan recipients beginning in August 1932. Internal controversy surrounding RFC lending probably discouraged banks from borrowing. In September and November of 32, the amount of outstanding RFC loans to banks and trust companies decreased as repayment ex exceeded new lending. Yep. Um, Republicans supported the RFC because Hoover was Republican and a lot of his followers supported it because he created it. And, um, Hoover believed that it provided immediate relief during the Depression, and he hoped that the federal dollars, if he could like pour it into the top of the economic system, would help all the Americans as the money trickled down to the bottom. And um, the RFC had some initial success, but never had the, the intended impact under Hoover. In some ways, it was a self-defeating agency. Amounts of all loans and names of companies receiving loans were made public beginning in August of 1932. This undermined the confidence in those companies and worried customers, especially in banks. Um, at the beginning, it boosted the economy, but it didn't last very long under Hoover's presidency. Franklin Delano Roosevelt used the RFC to fund many projects that would help pull America out of depression, such as the Emergency Banking Act of 1933, the Commodity Credit Corporation created in 1933, and the Electric Home and Farming Authority.